Hola Warriors, it's Kaipachi here and I have a little message about Chiron, the wounded healer, moving through the sign of Aries, the warrior, the masculine. This wounded masculine warrior energy can get really sticky. It can go for overpowering, overreaching, overcontrolling, or it can be underachieving, afraid of its own shadow, uh, submissive to the point of feeling that it doesn't even deserve to exist. This is a wound that collectively we're all working on from 2018 until 2025, 2026, as Chiron slowly moves through the sign of Aries. It spends a longer time in Aries. It has this elliptical orbit. So it spends a longer time in Aries than any other sign. Just to give us a little hint of what needs the most healing. <laughs> oh my goodness. So anyway, this is a time. And, and we've got Pluto up there in Capricorn. Capricorn is square to Aries. Capricorn is external authority. Governments, politicians, family members, bosses, employees, the, the economy, you know, the, it's, it's external forces that are, you know, controlling, that are, you know, really suppressing, dominating. So this Chiron energy, you know, is, is really, this is a time of diving deep down within and discovering our strength to speak our truth, stand in our truth, go forward with our truth, embrace a new future in a deserving, healthy, powerful way. Whether you're female, male, LGBTQ, we all have Mars. We all have Aries. We all have a warrior in us. And there's a spiritual warrior as well as an earthly warrior. So I'm doing a workshop in Peru this February, Healing the Warrior Within. And it's not just astrology. We're also going to be doing Kundalini Yoga. We're going to be talking about Pluto and Mars. We're going to be tapping into our power core, our power center. We're going to be doing breath work. We're going to be doing other exercises. We're going to be doing meditations. It's, it, there's all types of ideas, all types of activities that I have in mind, in store, that I'm going to be bringing to this select group of people. We're going to be on the beach in Peru. We're going to visit the mud pools. We're going to be out in nature. It's, this is a maskless event. We are going to really connect with our truth, our power, and the truth and power of nature, of Gaia, and this can just be a transforming life experience. I, I would, I'd love, I'm, I'm encouraging you to get in touch with your warrior and get on one of those planes and get down to Peru with me next February. And let's really build, you know, build the fire. Build the fire. And... I look forward to seeing you then. Click the link below. You can find out all about the schedule, all about where and what's going on. And I just hope to see you. Namaste. Aloha. So much power. <laughs>